Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered! Today, gonna be Hero versus Scan here on Circuit Breakers! Bottom right gonna be Hero, top right gonna be Scan! Alright, so Scan is an up and coming Terran player. You might have seen him coach Artosis. He is a very patient coach. He understands the game very, very well. He qualified for ASL. What else does he need to do other than prove himself by beating Hero here today? <laughs> Hero is a very, very, very accomplished Zerg player, but Scan is younger. Scan is maybe hungrier. And this is a pretty Terran favored map. So we'll have to see here if Hero stomps Scan. Scan puts up a good fight, or maybe Scan's gonna win. I don't feel like Scan stomping Hero is an option, but hey, it's StarCraft. You never know, right? Right. Okay, this is gonna be a Patreon cast. For those of you who support me at patreon.com slash falconpaladin for at least $1 a month, I really do appreciate you and all the support you continue to give me for StarCraft content. So if you're watching this the week of July the 15th, again, I do appreciate it. I love you all. And if you're watching this, you know, somewhere in the vicinity of August 2022, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. I am here six times a week with Brood War content. And as long as we're doing stuff, check out falconpaladin.store. It is the merch place to get Falcon Paladin t-shirts and whatnot and hoodies. If it's cold where you are, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, a hoodie sounds great. Northern Hemisphere, maybe you just want a t-shirt. That sounds good too. Drone scouting out here from Hero. We do ship anywhere. You can buy in your own, like your own particular currency, which is nice. You don't have to like convert to dollars or anything if you're outside of America. And we ship anywhere except I like, think like North Korea. <laughs> and um, I don't know. Are there other countries you ship to? Maybe not Mongolia, I guess is what I'm, I'm thinking about here. Anyway. Pool coming in, no fast extractor, not going for fast speedlings whatsoever, so no real aggression on the play here. And not really walling off either, so that's good for Scan. Scan's like, alright, nice. Maybe slowlings come over, eh, maybe block the ramp off with some SCVs and a couple marines, not a big deal. Not worrying about that one at all. Doing a little harass play here, but once again, SCVs better fighters, but they don't heal up. So they, the longer the fight goes on, the worse it is for them. They want to win it fast with their extra DPS and extra tankiness of having more HP, but they don't regen HP after they bet in battle for a minute, so, uh, not good, not good. It's 40 to 60, too. I mean, look at that. 60 HP and 40 HP. The maths. The maths. What do they mean? Well, again, it means SCVs need to be better fighters. Just long term. You don't have any kind of advantage. It is a disadvantage. In fact, macro Hatcher Rooney from Hero at three minutes, dude. I like Mac. That was a sub three minute macro hatch too. He wasn't getting a third base at all, which is like, all right. What is he thinking about here? What is he expecting from Scan? Well, Scan's walling off with Supply Depot. So Lynx can't make a straight shot up to that ramp as we've seen a billion times in the ZBT. Marine's moving out a little bit. Mmm, take a big drink of ice water there. Ice water is my constant companion when I am casting at night for StarCraft. Ice water's good, man. It's an underrated drink, I think. I think a lot of you Europeans who don't put ice in your water, maybe give it a try. It's so, so delicious. So much better than room temperature water. Anyway, lings are out. Marines fainting a little bit. Not really gonna commit to anything here whatsoever. Metabolic boost now on the way, but after Lair. So, I mean, this is this is fine. This is a more recent replay, by the way, too, because, again, Scan hasn't been super active forever. I believe this is about a 2020, maybe 2021 replay, so really not that long ago. Hero still scary. I mean, both players are probably better today than they were when this game was played, but this is fairly recent. This isn't like a 2008 replay, of which I have a whole lot. I've got a bunch of those I like casting, and hey, can you even tell sometimes... Can you feel that something is a 2008 replay versus a 2020 replay? I don't know. The game's just timeless. A lot of the strategies are still very viable and very similar. There's really nothing that was happening in 08 that isn't happening today as far as that goes. Anyway, this is a nice wall. These links have to go all the way around, take shots from these SCVs who might body block them too. All the while, Marines are shooting them in the face. 
or you know the side of the head or the tail or the foot or whatever i don't know zerglings have weird anatomy hmm so third base i'd love to see a third base here we go <laughs> this is something heroes needs to do he's getting no damage with those lings he made so many of them for nothing just not accomplishing anything with this at all scan is just bossing it right now Stim on the way. Plus one attack on the way. We got ourselves a Spire because derp. It's a ZVT. We're going to have a Spire. When would you not open Mutas? Maybe maybe you can kind of trick your Terran opponent and just rush Lurkers. But I don't know. Even times I've seen players rush Lurkers, they still have Mutas in the attack. It's like a Lurker Muta attack kind of a thing that we saw with... God, who was that? Zerg. It was Light. And I think it was Effort, maybe on the channel a few weeks ago that was a good game and that was man light is so good at starcraft <laughs> i'm not going to tell anything about that game except light played very very well whether he won or whether he lost i'm not going to tell you but he had some amazing plays so in order to keep that third base alive you are like required by law to have lurkers at some point here hero i i guess maybe you're just going muta ling to try to keep it safe wipe out this group but there's a fire bat in here there's a couple, well, man, there's medics, which is scary. Stim's done. Range upgrades coming in here, too. The lings are like, well, this is not not exactly a safe place for me right now. Get on out. Get on out. Muta's producing. There's your Hydralisk Den timing. So 630, huh? All right. It seems real late, but, you know, the lings and the mutas really need to stop this attack from going where it's trying to go, which is bottom left he knows this is the traditional expansion location on circuit breakers for a zerg player and by bottom left i mean he's going top left question mark scan what are you doing i i don't under okay firebat picked off their beautiful micro so the lings aren't as in much a disadvantage and yeah hero just cleans it up wow uh yep that was a bit of a shellacking there I, I, does does Scan think this is where the base is, top left? Oh, Scan. I don't know about this, Scan. You have your turrets, right? Yeah, okay. At least he's got his turrets. The Mutas are just paying no respect. Oh, because there's not a turret in the mineral line, Scan. No. Why? Oh, boy. All right. Okay. Well, this is just doing way too much. And by that, I mean heroes running away <laughs> he feels like he can't do anything more fine i guess lurker aspect coming in I'm getting some sunkets at the front door in case this group of marines decides to make a push for the natural instead which you know they could do they have freedom of choice here is it an illusion who knows does it matter personally of the opinion that the whole do humans have free will argument doesn't mean anything because what we believe about it and what the truth of it is doesn't change anything at all right i just don't think it does so i don't spend a lot of time thinking about it anyway six mutas out still no making a couple more heroes replacing those mutalisks a bit third base up and running which is humongous scan pulling back a little bit here at 62 to 60 total supply heroes ahead at eight minutes which is not good for our boy scan at all in fact pretty bad but throwing up more turrets well, no, he's not. He's throwing up a bunker, which is good, too. Good anti-air, good anti-ground. Starport, four racks, one factory. Maybe you're going to start, see some, start seeing some uh, vulture play and some spider mines just a little bit. Because you have the factory anyway. Queen's Nest from Hero going to pop any second now. And there it is. That's the sound a building makes for Zerg when it finishes. It goes... That's not exactly right. I tried. I tried my best. But a little congested today. Just a little bit. Not a big deal. Anyway, Hive gets started instantly because, of course, it is because it's Hero. He's getting gas at the third base. Two workers on minerals, three on the gas. Ling run by with some Muta support, though. Oh, boy. I'm just going to go right into the mineral line. Lings, go after the missile turrets. Keep the Mutalisks alive longer. Turret down. Yes. Yes, we shall. See the zero, zero Lings with speed, mind you. That's good. Dude, it's a full 11 mutalisks, though. Who oh, boy. Who oh, boy. Okay. All right. They don't even have upgrades. These aren't even like plus one, plus one mutas or anything. 
Yeah, all right. So this kid's in an immense, an immense amount of trouble here. He just wasn't anticipating the switch into even more mutalisks. After half of the first group went down, he replenished the stock and the Ling run by. And I mean, he just didn't have enough here to stop that from happening. The Marines were elsewhere. They had to come in. Yeah, protecting against Ling run bys is one of the more annoying, terrible things when you happen to be, you know, well, a Terran player or, you know, a Zerg player or a Protoss player. Ling run bys are tough, 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 tough to deal with. All right, so drones transferring down to the third base because we don't have a hive yet and no Nidus at the moment. But I think we're probably going to get one. A Nidus canal, just real standard at this stage of the game. Science vessels on the way. Irradiate. The captain's already been researched. Lurkers, just, you know, making sure Terran can't move out until he's got scans or a science vessel, which he's working on it. Okay, 43 to 35 workers is pretty bad. Trying to kill that tank there. Trying to find a science vessel if one's going to pop up anytime soon. Maybe just going to lose some mutas to turrets. Sure, that works as well, I guess. Yeah, so the mutas sharking around. One scourge remains. Not enough to kill a science vessel if it arrives. There's your Nidus Canal. Nidus Canal timing. 11 minutes. Is it coming over here first? Okay, so yeah, popping left first. I'm going to go into, I'd say, this area. And by that, I mean we're not making the second half of the Nidus Canal at all. Oh, there it is. And, oh, look at me nailing it. Right there, center screen. I haven't watched this game in advance. I never do. Radiate now getting researched. Scan needs this push to do something big. I, I don't know. Does it have to kill the third base of Hero to win this game? No. But if it prevents a fourth base... Or just wins a big engagement. Okay, this is not what exactly what I would like to call winning a big engagement. Yeah, all right. So Billy lurkers burrow in. Some of them die, but like I said, there's a billion lurkers. So after the ones that die, there are still six, five, and okay. Look at this. Ah, the scan losing that tank sucks. The mutas made sure to pick that sucker off, of course. Of course. And there's that fourth base I was talking about from Hero. So scan, look. You need to kill that fourth, or you need to get a third of your own, even if it's just this. You're making a ton of Marines. Minerals are your bread and butter right now. Scourge, do not connect with the Science Vessel. That's big. Lurker down, lurker down, lurker down. Lurkers all dying. Hero not running them. And he keeps the Science Vessel alive, and more Scourge are getting killed. Okay. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Scan needed to get some victories there, and he did. He's now up 77 to 72. He's got more workers than Hero does. He needs a third base. Have I mentioned that yet? About how desperately he needs a third base. Uh, maybe he doesn't. Maybe Scan's like, I can win this thing without a third base, Falcon. Shut up. Scourge connecting. I mean, with a drop. Show oh, no. Oof. There are Marines and Medics in that thing, too. That's pretty scary stuff. Almost lost that drop ship. Terribly, terribly frightening. But guess what? Plague's coming in. Consume's already done. The time of the Defiler is upon us. The time of the Consume is here. The sound that every Terran and Protoss hates to hear is the sound of the Defiler. Zergs so rarely get into the stage of the game where Defilers are even possible to be made in ZBZ that, um... I don't know that Zergs hate that sound. I, it's one of those sounds that, yeah, the other two races hate it. Zergs don't. They just don't. Nicer, but beautiful irradiate. So immediate Dark Swarm, because he's like, well, I gotta use my energy on something. Ooh, that's a great Dark Swarm. That second one, I'm surprised it was... Wow, good range on that thing, too. Can't kill this whole army, but yeah, what do you do? What do you do? Zerglings make sure this third base is not super easy to take. Scan continuing to push bottom left. He's got his machines. They've got plus one, plus one. We've got our science vessels. Got a Ninus Canal, got a Defiler, got a Dark Swarm defensively popped up. Just getting a Plague! Ooh! A Plague! Ooh! Are we just not gonna worry about Dark Swarm? Okay, ow. So that, yeah, three kills on that Lurker. Bunch of Plague Marines taking Lurker Spines from underground. Doesn't go well for them, traditionally. We have Adrenal, yeah? I'm pretty sure that Hero has the Adrenal upgrade. He wouldn't. This is a. If he doesn't have it, he forgot it kind of a thing. Because if you're working on an Ultralisk Cavern and Defilers and Plague and stuff and you don't have Adrenal, 
Well, you're doing it wrong. It's just not the way to play StarCraft at all. At this stage, anyway. So, yeah, okay, they're adrenalings for sure. For sure. Chasing them science vessels. Getting one of them. Getting one of them. The other one stays alive. That seems a fair trade. A bunch of Scourge died. Nice. Plague again. Just trying to bait these dudes into this into this Dark Swarm pit of madness. Another Dark Swarm. And sure, the Dark Swarm allows for the death of a couple Marines there, but nothing insane, right? Just little bits of damage here and there. Heroes up 96 to 82 total supply. God, Science Vessel down. And just no sign of a third. I, is there there's one being built inside the main base? Yes. But at this stage of the game, what you need if you're going to win this game is your scan is like 35 Marines, not 8. And they need to have 2-2 two, two probably and stay in which they have. And like, I don't know, 4 to maybe 6 science vessels. And it's just not... It's not what we have here today. Kindness plating's on the way. Uh, just mm, ultras can be dealt with with marines, but if the marines have full upgrades and the outnumber the ultra is like 17 to 1, it goes better for them. It's tough. Once again, Scan finds himself in a place where he needs to get something big done. And that is not lose science vessels to Scourge again. But that's bad. No science vessels at all. Hero knows. Hero knows the way to defeat this particular 8 racks science vessel strategy is kill the science vessels. Because then you can't irradiate the Defilers or the Ultras. You can't get huge sick plagues off. It's real bad for you as a Terran player. God, the plague is so good. I mean, Defilers don't get credit for kills of units they've plagued, but man, let's be honest. If a Marine gets plagued and is down to 1 HP, and then a Ling rolls in and tickles him and he dies, that should be the Defiler's kill. It should be. Oh, this, this is draining. It's draining. It's draining energy under medics. Don't do this. Man, Scan. Scan struggling. Scan maybe intimidated playing against Hero here, which you know what? I would be. Okay, well, it's another dead science vessel, but okay, we got an irradiated defiler out of it at least. Not a good trade. That's a good trade for the Zerg. Scan has not really been able to put up a lot of just threats anywhere. Not even at the fourth base, which is traditionally a pretty decent place to set up with tanks and 100 marines, but he hasn't been able to hold middle at all. He keeps moving out with the science vessels. It's a it's a happy medium, right? It's a balance like all things are. You need to keep them close enough to the marine ball that Scourge don't just wander in and blow them out of the sky, but also far enough ahead to scout for things like lurkers and defilers that may be lurking out there. Ha ha! Lurkers may be lurking out there. And Scan, this is not a, this is not a bad setup for him. He just doesn't have enough units to make it work. Because he hasn't had a third base. He just now has a third base, which is fantastic. He's going to get Lings running into it, though. And they have the plus one, plus two upgrades and Adrenal. Oh, we get chased away. Okay, decent, decent setup there. And these tanks do not die. Wonderful. Dark Swarm in the middle, problematic. Okay, Lurkers in the middle without any defiler support here. Just sacking Marines for him. You can lose a bunch of Marines if you kill a Lurker. If you're trying to make good trades, which is how StarCraft works, then yeah. You can lose, like, what? Five, six? Man. Six Marines for a Lurker seems like a fair trade. Here are the Ultralisks, though. They have arrived. They are mean. They are big. They are green. They are not green. They are fighting machines. They are chasing the Terran player. Oh, Zavay back home. The Ultra Lasks do not have all their upgrades yet, but they're still tanky, tanky boys with six armor. They've got their full armor upgrades, and you know what? That's what really matters for them at this stage of the game. Irradiate them. Make them do damage to their friends. Irradiated Ultras. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. All right, yeah, 146 to 110 supply. I'm looking at scan here. It just, it's the early game. It was the early game harassed with the mutas and the lings and the lings and the mutas getting into the main base and causing all sorts of problems and the lings and the mutas wiping out the army in the middle of the map. And scan just, it delayed his third base, delayed his ability to get up 
exactly what he needed to get up to win this game, just in sheer numbers. Somehow the science vessel survived that massacre. Way to go, science vessel. There's a drop back here that Skin's trying to make something work. I appreciate the hoot spa from him, but nah, GG's. GG's out and Hero is, excuse me, is the winner of the game. Wow, what a truly, truly fantastic display of TVZ for Hero. I know, Hero has a lot more experience and a lot more championships than Scan does. But man, Scan, he is a good Terran player. He's getting better here in 2022. And I want to see a rematch in 2022 from Scan and Hero. Maybe RJB can hook me up with that, right? Right. So the fourth base wasn't touched. The third base wasn't touched. The natural was never attacked until this drop right here. And on the back foot was scanned the entire time. I still have no... Okay, hang on a second. Hold on a second. Do I want to find... I want to find that run by. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this, by the way. If you're just going to bail on me, then feel free. But I want to see what happened. No, no, no. It's further than this. The mutas are out. Sure. So the mutas are out. Yes. I think these guys, they're covering it here, but then they leave. So they've got this, yeah, so you can't come in here because it's too dangerous. Then they move across the bridge. And then the lings poke down to the south here. Right, so this whole thing happens. A lot of mutalisks die. No, is this after it? I went too far. This is hard. This is hard to find. Where is the... Uh oh, here it is, like at nine minutes. Okay, okay, hold up. Nope. <laughs> this is really exciting for you to watch me do this, isn't it? I know it is. You're just like, Riveted to your screen. Okay, so we speed it up a little bit. These lings are hanging out. These guys are out on the map at nine minutes. Yada 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 yada. The music's gonna come back in, and this is just this is it. Yeah, so the army's out here, and then he just goes for the run by. There's nothing in this bunker. This one has stuff in it. But he just runs past everything. It's 35 to 36 workers at this point. Target fire on SCVs. I mean, not a lot of them are done. Okay, we did knock it down to 31. All the workers on the gas get specifically picked off there, too. By that, I mean one of them stays alive. But it's down to 28 SCVs after all this. Brutal. Brutal, brutal. And then we times 16 it for a while. And you're just going to notice how incredibly safe these bottom left bases are. Look at this. I mean... Yeah, that one attack right there. It gets rebuffed, Dark Swarm Lurker. It gets chased all the way back across the map. And he just never comes back. He kind of gets in the general area, then Hero chases him away. And then he's just too busy defending from this point on. And that's your GG. Amazing. All right, good. End of the day, 133,000 points there from Hero. 106,000 from Scan. Got out produced 400 to 300. Which is, you know, the kill death ratio is actually higher. See, that's the trick here. If you're a Zerg player and you outkill your Terran opponent, you just, you're winning. I don't know how else to explain it to you. You're winning. Man alive. And outspent the Terran by a full 16,000 as well. So good. Good, good. End of the day. That's going to be it for me. So this has been the Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of Starcraft Brood War Remastered and a Patreon cast. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.